Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I often receive requests to cover commonly asked interview questions and one such question is can you describe a challenging situation you have faced at work such as a production server or critical resources going down? How did you identify the root cause and what steps were taken to resolve the issues? So in today's video I'm going to act like a candidate and respond to this question. Let's get started. In one of my previous roles, I faced a challenging situation involving an Azure app service connected to an Azure SQL database. This application was critical to the business handling real-time customer transactions. One day, the application started throwing HTTP 500 errors. Simultaneously, we received a P1 incident alert indicating that this was a high severity issue impacting production. My priority was to identify the root cause and resolve the issue as quickly as possible while minimizing business disruption. The first step I took was to join the P1 bridge call and communicate with the stakeholders. I explained the situation clearly by saying the application is experiencing intermittent failures due to backend timeouts while connecting to the Azure SQL database. The issue seems to be caused by a high surge in traffic which is likely impacting the database performance. This helped set the context and uh, assure everyone that we were actively investigating. I immediately checked the application logs using application insights and they confirmed that timeout exceptions uh, were occurring due to delays in uh, database responses. I also verified the SQL database metrics in the Azure portal. It became apparent that the database utilization was extremely high with DTU usage peaking at 95%. This was a clear sign that the database was under stress and unable to handle the incoming requests effectively. At this point, I had to act quickly. I discussed the situation with our customer and proposed a temporary solution to mitigate the issue. I explained that increasing the SQL database tier temporarily would provide additional resources to handle the workload and restore service stability. After receiving the customer's approval, I scaled the database from a standard S2 tier to a premium P1 tier. I also restarted the app service to flush out stale connections and ensure that new connections would be established with the upgraded database. Meanwhile, I kept the stakeholders updated on the progress I reassured them that the changes were being implemented and closely monitored. Within minutes of scaling the database, I noticed a significant drop in DTU utilization. The application errors started subsiding and the service was restored to normal functionality. After resolving the immediate issue, we focused on identifying the root cause and implementing a long-term fix. During the analysis, we found that some database queries were not optimized and were causing full table scans under heavy traffic. This combined with the unexpected surge in traffic led to the database resource exhaustion. To prevent a recurrence of this issue, we made several improvements. First, we optimized the SQL queries and added missing indexes. Second, we implemented retry logic in the application code to handle transient failures gracefully. Finally, we configured auto-scaling rules for both the app service and the SQL database to handle future spikes in traffic automatically. It's also worth mentioning that this was a critical application and the SQL utilization issue was not flagged as a major concern until this incident occurred. By the time we received the alert and started investigating, the situation had already escalated to a P1. After this experience, we enhanced our monitoring strategy by setting up custom alerts in Azure Monitor to detect high database utilization earlier and take preventive action before it impacts production. In the end, the application downtime was minimized to about 40 minutes. The customer appreciated our rapid response and transparent communication. They were particularly impressed by the detailed root cause analysis and the proactive steps we took to ensure this would not happen again. 
This experience taught me the importance of having a robust monitoring strategy, clear communication with stakeholders, and being prepared with scalable solutions for handling critical issues. It was a challenging situation, but resolving it successfully was extremely rewarding. That's how I would respond to this interview question. I hope this explanation helps you understand how to tackle such scenarios effectively. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.